We've got three looks right here. Yeah. And I'm gonna just tell you, this is Maluma. Yeah. It's all tasseled, so you also get the movement, which right. I think is important. All crystals and beads. <laughs> Bella Hadid wore this, so I wanted to give her this kind of very classic 50s gown, but then something surprising with the jewels and then the cutouts, and as she's so famous for her tiny little waist, I really wanted to just accentuate that and show it. This is the dress Katie wore to the first Met Gala we attended together, a classic taffeta kind of evening gown going to the opera, but with stickers and tags and then all this kind of um, graffiti. Jeremy's most challenging Met creation was Katy Perry's chandelier design. Well, there was a lot of logistics. She snuck out of the hotel under a jacket to not be seen in what was not the outfit because she couldn't be in it. That whole armature is glass and fragile. It is made of actual chandelier pieces. So I was sweating bullets. It definitely was the most anxiety ridden moment I ever had going to the gala. Then we had a second look, which you may remember is the burger cape and the lettuce dress under it. Partied the rest of the night out in that look. It's so funny because it's Casey Musgraves, Barbie, ahead of your time, because now Barbie is all anyone is talking about this movie coming out this summer. She came in a pink Corvette convertible. Come on. Wearing the pink faux leather biker jacket as an <laughs> evening gown. And I, yes, I'm guilty. Barbie core came from me. I did it first. Right? Oh, Gwen. She is so gorgeous inside and out. She had just done her Vegas residency and I did some costumes for her for that. I was thinking, why don't we portray with camp the whole feeling of between showgirls and Liberace. Megan the Stallion. Oh yes. So it's all leather pieces cut to look like feathers and then painted by hand with gold leaf. And she looks so beautiful. So and good. She, she had such a great night and that made me so happy.